Uh, speaking of the Canadian women's national team, so they wrapped up the two-game series against Brazil. That first game on Saturday, that was a 1-0 loss. Brazil getting that 94th-minute goal. Uh, then in game two, that was on Halloween night. Canadians were victorious. 2-0, they walked away the winner. So they split that one. And a lot of eyes, of course, and I just mentioned it, Christine St. Clair, we know that these are going to be her final games. Two more coming up in December. That game on Saturday, she was subbed in in the 68th minute. The game in Halifax, which played at Wanderers Grounds, home of CPL, Halifax Wanderers, she was subbed in in the 78th minute. So do you think, Jordan, given that these are her final games, kind of, sort of, a farewell tour as well, does she need to be used more in these matches, like kind of give the fans Christine St. Clair, or should Bev Priestman really be focusing on prepping for the Olympics? I think Bev Priestman should be focused on prepping for the Olympics. I know someone, one of the three of you, disagrees with me, and, and that's totally okay. But I think when you're team, I think I think I think they need I think they need some time to get it right. I don't mean any disrespect by this. This is just a fact. I think figuring out how they want to play their attacking identity going forward, who are gonna be the big names. Christine Sinclair, we will never find another player like her. I understand we're giving her her flowers now. And that might be 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 12 minutes in a game. But I think this team, Canada, going forward, there are expectations with them to do well. And right now, when you're watching the games in and out like we are, it needs to be better. They need more time to really solidify the group. They need more time to figure out who are they going to lean on in, in desperate times. And that's been Christine for so long. The person to call on to, to live or to die with the ship. But now there need to be new faces, and they got to figure that out. And if you're really watching the full game of football against Brazil in Halifax, the first half wasn't good enough. And yes, I know these are friendlies and this is like a George time, but I even think about preseason when I played, maybe you have seven matches over a, a five week period, right? Or a six week period. And you really are using those time, that time to get the team together, right? Maybe they're going to have nine, 10, 11, whatever it is, maybe a dozen before, before the Olympics, they do, they need every moment to really sharpen themselves and get themselves ready for that. So I think you can do both. I think you can honor Christine and give her that 15 minutes, but I think the players really need that time to, to start getting familiar with each other and having that chemistry rise to the top. Okay, well, before I go, I choose, which one of you would counter that? <laughs> well... Reluctantly? <laughs> no, not, not, relu not reluctantly at all, because it's not as if I disagree with anything that you're saying. Because, you know, you, you, you can absolutely make the case and um, the, the team needs to improve and they, they need to play um, more with one another in this system and this post Sinclair team, what it's going to look like. But there's no doubt about it. If I'm in attendance in Halifax, if I'm in Montreal, I don't want to speak on behalf of anyone, but I want to see more of Christine Sinclair. Like she is yeah. the main attraction. Like this is someone that's transcended the sport in this country. And for me, in a game that's nine months ahead of when the Olympics are, nine months, like not nine weeks, nine months ahead, how much consistency will there be from these two teams, two games against Brazil? And you've already played them like what, you know, three other times this year before these two games. How, how much are you getting out of this game that you're actually going to apply to the Olympics next year? For me, this is Sinclair's time. I understand that the team needs to win. They need to move on. But fans across this country, you want to see Christine Sinclair on the field. Like, playing 12 minutes or 20 minutes, Andy, like, she barely has a touch on the ball. Like, player for at least 45 minutes. I mean, I will say this. I don't think that that will be the case in the two games on the West Coast in her own backyard. I hope that Bed Priestman starts Christine Sinclair from the get-go in both. And, and, and perhaps that's what she has in mind. These games will be a little bit more practical and more of a celebration these next two. But there are a lot of games between now and the Olympics. I know that the Gold Cup is 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 is, is there as well, and that's going to have importance as well. But this is Christine's time. I just think that she deserves more in the field. And I know that us in the Canadian soccer community and those who cover the women's team in great detail we will be nerds about these things. Oh, I want to see this, this player play inverted or this player get more minutes in this time. But the vast majority <laughs> of people across this country that are tuning in and, and showing up to games, they want to see Christine Sinclair play. This is her last dance. This is her last time on stage. 
and I don't want her to see her in a bit part. She's still a leading character for me, and I, I hope that she gets more of the spotlight in terms of on-field play in these upcoming games. Mm. Wally? Well, I don't certainly don't want to see any more inverted fullbacks. If I didn't have to see another one of those in my <laughs> lifetime, I'd, I'd be happy. Um, but I, I think, I don't know, like... I understand Wills' perspective, and I'm sure there are some fans feeling like that. But for, for me, if I was going to these games, I would look at it more like I want to see Canada play, and I want to see them play important preparation games against good opponents and and treat those appropriately. And then for me, it's more like I want to say a thank you and goodbye to Christine Sinclair more than I need to see her for like 90 minutes in, in the match at this stage, right? So I, I, I don't know. I, th I think as much as nine months seems like a long time, there's only six windows, I believe, including the Gold Cup. These are two of them. Like you don't actually have that many matches against top opponents. And if you get to Paris and you can't score, as has been a big problem for this team, you're probably going to have obnoxious analysts like me saying, why on earth did we give Sinclair four starts against two good teams, Brazil and Australia, when we needed to be working? That. You wouldn't. <laughs> me? You wouldn't. me? No, Never. no, no, no. no. <laughs> when we needed to be giving players like Lacasse and Prince and, and, and Leon and Rose and, and so on, the, the minutes that they need to put to build chemistry here, right? And um, to turn this team around from an attacking perspective. So I'd be very, very surprised if she doesn't start a BC place. I think that obviously will be appropriate. But for me, they, they've also got to think about the, the Olympics here in preparation. I, I hate to interject. The, the chemistry, sure, I buy it. But what's most important for these players is to be playing regular football at their club teams. Like they need to be in good form based upon their own individual games. It's not just about chemistry. A lot of these Canadian players aren't playing as regular starters for their respective teams. That is a, could be a massive issue. So that, for me, holds much more significance than anything that you do in an October window in 2023 when you're looking ahead to, what, July of 2024? Come on. Well, I, I, it's a tough situation, I think, for any manager to be in because it's it was interesting listening to Carmelina Moscato, who was part of our broadcast, who is a manager herself. And you look at the time Canada has before the Olympics, which could be about 13 games. And in a manager's mind, they're like, that's not enough, right? Like you, you <laughs> see how in their head, the more time they can get with their players, the better. And I think they do want to get it right. Because even though we're looking at the Olympics, I think Canada wants to finally win. Once again, it hasn't been confirmed but why they wouldn't be at the She Believes Cup would just kind of baffle me. But, like, they'd want to win that tournament. But Gold, Gold Cup. Cup. Gold Last Cup year was – year. Didn't they're go going well. to want to win that. Like, that's what I mean. They're going to want to win that. So they have to be prepared going to – and then, you know, it's the Olympics and defending your goal. So there are a lot of trophies they want to win before getting to the Olympics. But you're right. I think it'll be very profound to start her in those games out west because there is something special – about a crowd giving you your dues as you're walking off. The yes, pitch, exactly. As to walking on. So that'll be special. And I really hope that there's some acknowledgement um, of that for sure.